Cancer, what's going on, Cancer? It's Deb with Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I hope you're doing well, and I hope that this reading finds y'all safe. Cancer, what's going on? Welcome to Thirsty Thursday. Let's see what is going on and who is thirsty for this week. Okay, I just seen Amun Ra, so we got Aries energy. Maybe feel, um, some Aries feels like you're looking beyond the horizons. You have now left this person behind. You have now decided that this person can't go on a journey with you anymore. Maybe this person is struggling financially as well. Don't know if you guys were connected at one point, but Sekhmet is here directing us saying that you're in high like they, they're protecting you okay it's almost like you might be going through a spiritual battle and it's meant for you to come out victorious the six of scepters so keep on looking at keep your eyes on the prize is what i would say keep your eyes on the prize keep focusing on what you're being guided to go after see none it's saying that it's better for you to stay within, it's better for you to stay to yourself. Be very careful of people coming towards you with ill intentions. The strength card is showing up again in the King of Discs. You're a hard worker. You're somebody that's very stable. You're somebody who's dependable. And I feel like that's why Cancer, they want you around. But it's time for you to receive something that is balanced something that offers you the same that you offer it or a balanced situation where you don't feel used and abused do you see the prince of cups the prince of cups energy can indicate uh, energy as someone still learning themselves emotionally could have been a taurus with the hierophant card right here but somebody is pleading or asking for a chance to have some type of commitment or something stable with you but I feel like Cancer, you're not interested. Yeah, this person is more into money, though, the ten of discs. So they might be seeing that you're working on some type of legacy. And now they want to tag along is what I'm feeling, Cancer. Look, exactly, the hangman. Because this person's stuck. Might be a Pisces. But they're in some type of stagnant energy. They, they don't... What I'm seeing is wherever they put themselves in, whatever situation they put themselves in, this person made a bad decision, a bad choice, okay? Got the King of Swords right here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, but this is also somebody to come coming to speak them tr their truth. So maybe someone trying to approach the throne, Cancer, High Priestess, somebody trying to come towards you and approach the throne i don't know we got this five of wands so if this is an energy that's trying to come towards you i feel like they're coming in an energy of trying to say that they're they're better than a situation that you're dealing with or that you need to you know analyze the situation better but I feel like you've already figured it out because the four of swords is right here in the middle. So I'm saying you're at peace. You're mentally clear on the decision that you have made. You're not wondering about this. And this also indicates don't disturb my tomb. So with the hermit card and the four of swords, I feel like you don't want to be bothered with the situation. Yeah, this person is nostalgic. The six of unks is right here. So they're just thinking about past situations. But all that's doing is causing a whole bunch of you know just wishing that they would have did something differently you know, this person is mentally disturbed stuck in their head this aries see the emperor keep coming out this was your lover gemini energy could have been but why did i want to flip those weird somebody tried to flip flip the situation but either way it goes they would have been stuck because both of these hangman and the eight of swords is an energy of mentally mentally being stuck and this one is a, actually not being able to go nowhere so they like i said if they don't got no money it's like they are stuck and bound to something the two of this they're juggling robbing peter to pay paul having a hard time paying their bills when you when you're the 
king of this because I seen the king of this so it's like you got the finances maybe somebody thought you was going to get them some money or something what's this king of swords I feel like they about to be on the beggars list or homeless oh my gosh Nebuchadnezzar high priestess that's what I'm saying they, tr they trying to come look they need to go away but what they're trying to do is they call themselves coming towards you because if, if y'all can see it's really like this while i'm looking at it but on the computer it look opposite they come in towards the throne of the high priestess this person needs to use their intuition because maybe this person's trying to go to a, a spiritualist to try to get some type of advice because the high priestess can also be a spiritualist or someone you know intuitive like myself or they're trying to get some type of information because this person's intuition is not where it needs to be but they're trying to get it on another high priestess they're approaching a high priestess for another high priestess is what i'm feeling two high priestesses what is this oh yeah Okay. Five of scepters. Somebody is telling them the truth. Okay. Whoever they're talking to is telling them the truth. This person is telling them that you're using a lot of strength. You're, you have segment that's protecting you right now. You're in a spiritual battle. This person also knows that possibly you did, you know, suffer a heartbreak dealing with them but you worked on it because you realized that being in that situation your guides were not able to protect you basically you were getting warning signs from this person so this high priestess must have told them this and now it's kind of like this person knows what's going on five of scepters five of wands maybe you have multiple people that want to connect with you on a physical level they, they might know you know since you're like highly attractive the high priestess always has lots of options some people say she's the mistress but it's just you know people are sexually drawn to your healing nature so i feel like this is giving someone a burden because this is also the ten of wands what's this five of wands oh so now somebody wants to act a fool yeah somebody want to act a fool because of what oh wow they got a whole book they want to tell they in love the king of unks <laughs> oh goodness so this king of unks energy wants to act a fool because they see you as their empress this person wants to come back and invest now but they know that they that situation ended with the ten of swords they still want to give you an offer. This person wants to give you something materialized. So that means that they actually want to give you a physical gift. It could be in any type of form. Because now this person feels like they have enough... Um, they ha have enough wit about themselves to like want to go forward. But the thing is you got a heavy, bur uh, heavy boundary up. Because you're being taken care of by the divine you realize that you're the gift and so now you're being gifted with finances and stability and you're staying to yourself and this is leaving this person in some type of nostalgic energy like i said i feel like it's just passed to you you you've matured and moved on you've healed from the situation you're no longer hurt about the situation the three of, of swords energy now you've come to uh clearing a conclusion you you got the clarity on it what's this for so so it's no it's like if this person thought that they was gonna hurt you and then like oh well you gonna need me for closure that's not the case you you was like i'm gonna have my own closure period yeah this was something that somebody didn't see